This next piece here is how to up complete the paperwork on Platinum Planner and doing the online portion to it. Okay, so the first part to doing that is once you log into Plat Plan Platinum Planner, you will go to your student homepage, right? Um, that will bring you here. Okay? It will tell you if you have a lab to be documented, opportunities to be documented, anything that you're gonna do there. So the clinicals in Platinum Planner are called opportunities. You can either click one opportunity ready, ready to be documented or go up here to opportunities and my opportunities and click there. It will take you to the same site and it will come in to where you currently have documentation ready to be done. And I'll show you which ones you need to do. You go into begin documentation. And in here, you may or may not be able to see all these buttons on the side. If you cannot, what you'll have to do is go up and make your screen a little bit smaller so that you can see all the buttons. The bottom one is the submit button. Okay. So in here, you'll see the overview as to where you're going. Just kind of scroll through any information, the patients that you have, a preceptor form, documentation that you're gonna do. And it's also over here. So you can click each one of those. Only one that's not really here is the info, right? So click the overview, go to info, once you're in info, you're going to have to select a preceptor, okay? And then you just type in the pay, your preceptor's name. If they're not in there, click new and add a new preceptor. Okay. Actual shift start, this is what's scheduled, right? If you leave a little later, you can um, do that. put that in there afterwards. Total physician time, don't worry about that. Not a requirement of anything needed. In the summary notes here, you can do just a kind of quick um, narrative as to what happened at the hospital or in your clinical, um, if you need to. Now, once you go to the next tab, which is patients, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we'll add a patient. Okay. In here, you select live or simulation. Okay. Contact type, was it ALS or BLS? Okay, I'm just going to put in a couple different things. Chief complaint, okay, whatever it might be. The time it happened, gender, patient's age, let's say 45, um, right? And you can go in, put a narrative as to what happened with the patient. Okay. Patient presented. With difficulty breathing. And e. We gave whatever and just continue through your uh, narrative like you would, right? Patient encounter. Was it formative or competency? Just go with competency. It's an age group. Was it an adult? Okay. Add a pathology. Okay. It was a breathing problem is what I put. So I did respiratory. Successful, right? Any skills that you performed while there? Uh, don't worry about the patient care report. That's for the field and capstone. Did an IV on that patient, that was successful type of thing. And then when you come down here, it should, it's got a spot for you to add more if needed, right? Copy it. If you click formative, it'll give you some formative um, things, right? A little bit different maybe, but not necessarily, right? So just 
just do competency and that's all you need to worry about, right? Once you went through, we went through all this information, uh, hit save, and that will add that patient in there. Okay. You can come in, edit it at a later time, depending on what you need to do. Okay. Forms, right here, it's going to have the site preceptor. Fill out that form. Okay. Tell us how the preceptors did um, and what could be good, bad, or other, just fill that one out um, and then hit save. Okay. Documents, here's where you're going to upload uh, those documents that I showed you in the overview. So your clinical log form, the site evaluation form, and the preceptor's evaluation of you. You can put it in as either a PDF form. You can put all three forms in one scan if you want. They can be separate scans. Um, it can be done as a picture. So if for whatever reason your scanner is not working, um, you can upload that as a picture off your phone also. I suggest downloading the Adobe Scan app. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. You can download it. You do follow directions in the Adobe Scan app, scan it, and you're able to upload to either your email or a OneDrive or anything like that right from that scanner. Um, and then you can drag and drop it into the spot or click on the spot and you can well, upload it through that. Once you've completed that and you've completed, you've added all your patients in here, okay, everything's gone. You've got all the information you even need in here. You come here and you can come down and hit submit. Okay, It's not going to let me do it because I didn't put a preceptor in here. But once you go through and do everything you need in there, it, this should let you hit the submit button. Okay, And it will show added what you've done on your competencies okay? as you go through there. Remember, upload the documents right here that you scanned from when you were at the location, and those can be found. If you don't get them from under the counter at, in the classroom, they can be found right here in the Blackboard course and printed. Okay. Add as many patients as you need once you get in here.